back. And we're going to go down into this trip dungeons. I just beat up an old one. do that? How do I get out of here? I don't see an exit and I don't have a thing. Oh, that's true. Oh, wait a minute. So I'm going to have to go through the rift to get out of here? Is that how it works? surface. Nice. Okay, so where is Buddy? Down here, probably. Where is he? Port Python. Okay. to go yet. Let's go down the Forgotten Realms and the other side of the map. This, this woman wants to talk to me. For what? I have to look at the beast. Let's go in here. For a minute. You've returned. Is it finished then? The beast has been banished, but Algren was pulled into the void along with and it. And so our great moment of triumph is soured with tragedy. The cult's defeat at the Necropolis marks humanity's first major victory in this conflict, proving that we are not going to simply lie down and let ourselves be wiped out by fiends and spirits. Nice pants. Word of this victory will spread and give people hope that someday this nightmare will truly be over. Yet we cannot forget those who sacrificed their lives to bring us here. Brave men and women of the Black Legion who took up arms in the defense of Uralan, a nation that scorned them as criminals, outcasts, and even traitors. In death, they were none of those things. They died as heroes. But I refuse to count Ulgrim among the dead just yet. I owe him that much. I could use your help. Are you with me? Arumita. Arumita. Lo ifs 
Solaire, Loïf Bismir, Moulum Oglum, Thonokolo Utokain! This is too dangerous. Need to find another way. The Rift Gate! Something's coming through! <coughs> Inquisitor Cree! <coughs> Devil's Cross was attacked! Take it easy, John. What's happened? Some new kind of ethereal. Just smashed right through our defenses. We need reinforcements. We're in bad shape. I'll send help, but I can't spare much. We're equally pressed here. Loss of Algrim to the Void may be more serious than you realize. Algrim is dead, Creed. You must know that. My people need help now. We won't survive another attack. John, I... It came from Malmoth. That thing that attacked Devil's Crossing. I escaped the city with a small group two weeks ago. Most died crossing the burning fields. My father was pulled into the bog by cannibals. that makes these pants good is the percent of spirit, 6% of spirit, right? See, a lot, of, a lot of things are going plus to this or plus to that, right? And they, they turn out to be not as good as this, which is, it makes it funny, right? You know? What level am I at? 45. You're back. Do you have a moment? I struggle to admit this. But I must abandon my efforts at opening a rift to reach Algren. For all I've learned in battling the occult, I'm no warlock. During my last attempt, I nearly lost control of the ritual when something tried to breach my portal from the other side. This is too dangerous to continue. To make matters worse, Captain Bourbon has just arrived with a girl named Amala. Bearing dire news from the east. While we struggled here to stop the Chthonians from unleashing terror and madness upon the world, the Ethereals have been far from idle. Everything they had done in this region is merely a sample of what is to come, if what Amala says is true. As much as it pains me to say this, our plans to rescue Algrim are secondary to this rising threat in the fallen city of Malmoth. The passage north from Burwich is quickly closing as the Aether Fire consumes everything. But perhaps we can accomplish both goals at once. You see, the Luminari have long been aware of a coven of witches hiding out to the north of Burwich, using the treacherous territory to deter pursuers. The witches will know the lay of the land and should be aware of any paths that remain through the Aether Fire. And I have hopes that they will be able to do what I could not. Reveal where the Lagorian has taken Algren. I would go myself, but I doubt the arrival of a high-ranking Inquisitor will be looked upon kindly within their circle, and I am needed in Devil's Crossing. I know that you have suffered much already in the defense of humanity, but you are the only one I can trust with this. Take my pendant and travel north from the Burwich Estates. A barrier of aether fire will stand in your way, but the pendant will make short work of it. Head north through Gloomwald until you've reached the edges of Ugdenbog, where I believe the Coven has made their home. You cannot arrive empty-handed, or they may well burn any memory of discovering their location right out of your mind. I recommend you hunt down a creature known as Caraxus Fowl, the scourge of Ugdenbog. I imagine it has grown quite large over the years, preying on unwary travelers making their way through Gloomwald. Find the beast within its waterside lair, Gloomwald, and bring its heart to the cover. I'm sure they'll find some nefarious use for it. But we must overlook that in light of our situation. 
Show them this keepsake of Algrim's and find us a way to Malmoth. We will be awaiting your signal. Got another one. <laughs> Time well spent. That's something you need stashed?
Keep an eye out. Something you need stashed? Yeah. Um, I do more, yeah. I'll keep an eye out. Got something you need stashed? Keep an eye on this. Sell those potions in my inventory. See anything you like? It's a good use. Excuse me, could I? My father and I were part of a small group that managed to escape the confines of Malmoth's ruins. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll end this one here, and then I'll do some mucking around with my, my character. Maybe a short one. 